Hey guys, welcome to another guide and uh, this is Kitty here. Uh, today we'll be talking about how to compose hangar for each game mode. So those game modes are Beacon Rush, Domination, Team Deathmatch, and Free For All. And for Skirmish, the hangers are preset so as long as you bring your party attitude, uh, that will just do. And as of now, we have modules, robots, uh, more different kind of weapons. So. Um, for each slot, I'll be talking about certain roles and that'll be in general. Um, there's a lot of combination, so I think trimming that down to roll is better. Okay, so first one up. So this game mode is the most loved game mode in the game. It's, it's called Beacon Rush. And obviously with the game mode name, you rush for beacon for a reason because you can spawn in there. The pace of the game is really fast and I guess I'll characterize game mode as um, speed and survival those are two, the most two important things so if you look at this mini map I, I dissected it into um, four pieces and if you look at it there's two enemy home beacon and our home two beacon so you definitely race for the center beacon you definitely have advantage if you have that extra beacon so you race for it a lot of people just race for it so the first one is obvious beacon runner um, you want to have Beacon Runner in the lineup. Obviously, all the other guys are running fast spots. Um, definitely, uh, I saw a lockdown weapon to stop fast spots. Uh, this guy in front of me is running the Hellburner. I'm running with the Strider so that I can get in there first. I saw Rhino as we uh, spawned in. It was really easy for me to get the center beacon. Now that we have the center beacon, we can definitely spawn in here to defend it. On to the second slot. Uh, before we consider giving a roll to second slot, let's uh, remind ourselves that in Beacon Rush, most of the game ends up being elimination. What that means is um, either side loses all their bots. So it's important to have mid range or healer in your lineup. This way you can support, uh, contribute to the game, and pace your robot. By mid range, I mean 500 to 600 meter. Uh, range weapons, the, uh, they are uh, Talumbus, Tridents, uh, Dragoons, Spark, Zeus, uh, Avengers, there's a lot of um, flexible weapons that can do both. By including this into your hangar, it'll prevent you from this screen. Um, out, uh watching that, leave game button. You don't want to see that. Okay, on to the next two slots. Uh, third and fourth, I like to put in um, two brawlers. Uh, usually brawlers of your choice, but do mix it up. Um, mix up the weapons. I have uh, some sort of energy weapon and splash weapon in there. Uh, shotgun weapons are good as well. Moving to the last slot. Uh, this could be tricky, but um, just ask yourself, what do you lack? Do you lack physical shield? Do you lack some sort of a special um, skill? Do you lack energy weapon? Or it could be that you need some sort of an energy shield. So on to the next game mode, Domination. So in this game mode, um, the result end up being either by beacon control. So it's a lot, a lot of it is about angles and rolls. So setting up this hangar, um, you definitely need an opener. I usually like having some sort of a robot with a lot of firepower or a tanker. But in this clip, it kind of shows you that the speed is not the key because you can't spawn in there. Um, there's a strider in front of me uh, trying to go for that beacon really fast. But I, uh, it's not really a good opener in a sense that I have to catch up to this um, player in order to fight with them. So there's that and that treb shot hurt. And you definitely need some sort of a support bot to wear enemies down because this game mode ends up being very long. Um, they are obviously healers and uh, mid-range snipers. Um, and the next two are definitely brawlers. You definitely want some sort of energy shield brawler or physical shield brawler since because of all the mid-range and sniping robots so with the two brawlers you definitely want to use them to either be defend beacon in this clip this is a definitely a crucial moment 
in the game um, I'm able to use this brawler shielded brawler to overtake this beacon and defend this beacon is all about um, true players it's definitely all about uh, elimination and running that time after you have the lead but before we get started you definitely need some patience to wait for that matching time hmm so the key ingredients to make a good team deathmatch hanger is definitely shield um, being able to rush at times and being able to survive so let's break it down. So you need two crunch time shielded brawlers and you need a healer. Um, I think it's it's ideal to have a healer because you need to survive uh, not yourself but your teammates also need to survive because each kill for the enemy is a point. And you definitely need mid range and a sniper. So in this game mode snipers, um, you can call them campers but they're getting a lot of points for the team. So some roles definitely overlap and in this clip uh, this is a combination of shield, healing and mid range in the beginning of the match. So five minutes into the match, uh, you can you can tell that some of the guys are in brawlers, uh, getting ready for that crunch time brawling. So in this clip, you can definitely tell that uh, it's ideal to have two brawlers in there. Um, you definitely do need brawlers for this game mode. However, I do still think that range bots are a little bit more important. On to the next game mode, free for all. So to win this game mode, you need the most kill and everyone goes for the most kills so you risk being eliminated. So your hanger definitely have to be uh, involved with a lot of counter plays and um, have to perform one versus one dominance. So let's break down the hanger. You definitely need an opener because um, when you spawn in, everyone spawns in beside each other so you need a trick up your sleeve i like uh, using the invader as an opener but um everyone has different style of uh, brawling so you definitely do need to prepare for a good opener second slot i, I like to put in the fast spot uh, definitely a good recommendation as a lot of uh, players that play free for all uses a fast bot because you'll find yourself in a situation where most of the other enemies are fighting on the other side of the map you just died and you spawned in um, to like the opposite side of the map you have to get there fast and attack the wounded make that one versus one situation in order to take some kills and on to the next, you need to prepare a mid-range for big open maps. The next two robots are definitely um, a counter play robots of your own style. In order to figure this one out, you have to have some experience and understand which type of builds that give you the most trouble and you need to really prepare for that build. So for me, I don't have a Mercury or Pursuer. so. Those two robots were giving me the most trouble and I ended up putting in a Hellburner and an Invader in order to counter them. 
thank you guys for watching this video i also have a channel of my own link to my channel will be down in the description section and if you have any other good advice for hangar configuration uh, definitely help other players out by leaving those comments down in the comment section below.